Hey guys, this is Janine with Pathfinders Downsizing Solutions, and I'm so excited this afternoon. We have another interview, and this is Janet Knupp. Is it Knupp or Knupp? Or Knupp. Knupp. It's phonetically incorrect, but I won't be offended. <laughs> <laughs> My last name's Saul's Gaber, so it's a hot mess too. So <laughs> tell people I can't order a pizza, but I know when the the bad um, the solicitors call. So you know. Right. Yeah. Anyway. Sounds good. Yeah, it's all good. But she is with Fit Minds, and um, this is such an exciting program. It's relatively new, but it's getting such good traction. And not only just here in this, and in, it's international, but it's she's brought it to the United States. And so I wanted to kind of ask her some questions and um, share her program with you because I think it could bless a lot of people. And you might be surprised; you might be one of them. So, Janet, tell me what is Fit Minds? Fit Minds is cognitive stimulation programming and cognitive stimulation is when you're exercising the brain in five key areas. So it's not just doing um, language, it's language, computation, visual, spatial, critical thinking, um, and you're always exercising it with new content. So your brain literally, if you don't use it, you do lose it. Whether or not you have any diagnosis of dementia, we know that. We also know that our brains shrink with age. So anybody should be getting cognitively stimulated as they age, especially if they're not actively working, because your brain is like a weed whacker and it says, oh, I don't need to be able to do this anymore. And it will literally prune away those synaptic connections. So that's why if you or I, which maybe never have to do this, Janine, were to take our SAT or ACT exams again. Right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I just flinched. I just yeah, went. I know, I saw you. Ah, oh, my we would do worse. But we would do worse, even though I think I'm so much smarter than I was. Is I would do worse because I don't know how to do quadratic. I don't know. I don't know how to do quadratic equations again. I don't. You know, there's just things you don't use anymore. My brain said, I, I, you know, I took statistics in grad school. I probably can't really do statistics anymore because I haven't done it. So it's so important that people keep um, their brains active. And what's more important is it should be complex new content always. So my dad wonderful ma'am. I'm so good at trivia. Of course you are. That's your long-term memory, okay? That's like a vault, and that's why so many seniors can remember their, you know, where they went to high school, but not well, where they put... when it was like EL yes. 572, whatever. whatever. Yeah. Yes, and yeah. then as they age, it's the short-term memory, the frontal lobe for judgment and planning that is, is getting impacted. So trivia is fun. It's not cognitive stimulation. Bingo is fun, it's stimulating, it's not cognitive stimulation. That's when you're exercising in five key parts of the brain, new content every time. So do you mind if I tell my story why I brought it here oh, to America? Yeah, go, okay, go, go. Um, so I'm a serial um, entrepreneur. Um, I spent my lifetime starting up and turning around a series of all mission-based organizations, everything from uh, babies that were developmentally delayed, to um, disadvantaged students in Detroit public schools, to disadvantaged students in Chicago public schools, to uh, special education students in 200 school districts. And my mother had something called Lewy body dementia, which is uh, a brutal disease because it not only is akin to Alzheimer's or some of the other dementias, but um, you also have paranoia and hallucinations. It's what Robin Williams uh, sadly uh, committed suicide over. Um, it's a brutal disease. And I was looking around, nobody, I'm talking to the doctors, nobody saying the words cognitive stimulation to me. And I'm thinking, this is impossible. I'm gonna find a path. <laughs> Just like I've done six other times, I, I'm gonna find a solution. And I found Fit Minds in Canada. Um, and it was the only place I found that was doing this unique model with a proprietary platform. And I brought it here. I was a coach for a year. I made sure that this really worked. I saw success stories. My mother started reading again. Her hallucinations and paranoia stabilized for an entire year. And sadly, she did eventually die from it, but she died knowing me and she died um, you know, with a high quality of life. She knew all of us in our family. She, you know, she ultimately ended up in my house in hospice, but she was, she was happy, had her dignity. And I watched her miracle. And then I watched miracle after miracle after miracle, both oh. with people that are high functioning um, that are just saying, I want to stay strong, all the way to um, people with advanced, advanced, you know, Alzheimer's or dementia that are living in memory care communities. 
Wow. That's, that's amazing. So, so what, so who are your, your basic clients then are typically dementia, dementia clients or just not, to kind of reiterate not, that? Not at, uh, not at all. In fact, anybody? Sadly, because of COVID, people are finding even more of a need for uh, cognitive stimulation because we know that social isolation actually accelerates cognitive decline. And so my dad is independent. He he's now has a coach twice a week because uh, we also believe in human to human. So we're not an app. It's, we're not going to ask somebody, particularly people with dementia, are not going to go on a computer and play a game. They're, they're not. We believe in human to human. So it's one-on-one, -on -one, human to human engagement, um, mental stimulation, meaningful engagement. And during um, COVID, the seniors, if anything, need it more to be engaged. And so dad's level five, which is the highest, but he's exercising. He doesn't always get everything right. And he really enjoys the rapport. And now he's, you know, pretty much isolated in his home, independent living, right? Right. And he's at least got another meaningful relationship to be talking to. And so I have him and then I have people all the way lowest, you know, farthest advanced. And we have found it being able to work. Um, candidly, stunned that during COVID, we were able to pivot to providing it um, virtually like we're doing right now. And it's working. I truly did not know. So I, whenever we had to try to pivot, I'm like, I'm going to do it. So I personally went back, putting on my coaching hat again and did it. And I can't, it's just, it's beautiful. It's still oh, working. Love it. That's so cool. Well, okay. So if I, um, if say, say my mom needed it or, um, you know, or, or was using it or whatever, if you had somebody being in COVID and we're so distant from each other and all that kind of stuff, do you report kind of back, I'll say progress reports to families that may be, you know, in living in Timbuktu while, you know, you know, we're so just dis distance. Do you report progress or is that just something that no, no, absolutely. It's an excellent question. It's another reason why I loved uh, why I love Fit Minds because I liked it for the accountability, um, both for my coaches and for my families. Seriously, um, and because you're right, sometimes they are so far away. So we have a proprietary platform, and um, in the beginning, we set a baseline, and um, then assessments are periodically built in, and um, if the disease is progressing, it might say, "Do you want to move, you know, Janine down a level?" But sometimes we just know Jeannie had a bad day. So there's um, objective, but as well as subjective judgment, you know, because you don't, you want to be just like any other kind of exercise, right? If I had a personal trainer for my body, this is a personal trainer for my mind. I wouldn't, if you came in and said, do 50 push ups, I can't do it. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> it ain't happening. I don't think I could do that, but <laughs> let's not go down that path today. Um, but seriously, I couldn't. So we want to challenge them, but we want them to enjoy it. Because you're not going to exercise if you don't like it. So you don't want to put people where they're just, it's impossible. And that's why even with some of the apps, I mean, like my mom never would have got on an app. I'm not saying there's not some value for it, but I just, the, the human to human matters to me so much um, so that the person can make sure you're not getting frustrated because my mom would never stand that. And if it started right. getting hard, she'd be like, this is not fun. I don't like it. And I feel dumb. I mean, it's not, nice you know, nobody wants to do that. So the reporting is excellent. Each coach, after they do a session, enters in the notes. The assessments are in there periodically. So the families are getting a report on how they're doing cognitively, as well as with engagement. Because we know so many people, as they age, um, as well as especially down in COVID, are suffering from depression. And so engagement can tell us that as well. And that's my dog. <laughs> that's OK. I, uh, you just listened to my husband come in, so it's all good. <laughs> It's COVID. But somebody rang the bell. Can we pause it? Yeah, sure, we can pause okay, it. Okay, pause, because I mean, somebody's at my door. Okay, and now we're back. I feel like I'm <laughs> like, what is that? Oh, the radio, you know, the radio DJ. <laughs> so, oh, anyway. yeah, right. And back again. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so the dogs have been duct taped and we're good to go. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's not duct taped, but he is in a den and hopefully you can't hear him in the background. But um, And mine will start up anyway, so it doesn't really matter. They're all good. What exactly. Would do? What would we do? Um, so we can do, so family progress and all that kind of stuff. And it's different than a brain app. How do you know if, how do you know if you're a candidate or what's not, I mean, I know the COVID thing, 
that's one question I have for you. And then I have another one because I was on a call earlier this morning and it was with a lot of different senior communities and everybody is just, you know, this has been going on since March and it is just so wear, wearing on the families and it's just, you know, a step forward, two steps back kind of thing. Yeah. It's so hard and, and the decline for their, I say their hearts and it's really their hearts um, and stuff like that, being so isolated and even in the communities and stuff like that and how, you know, I would imagine, you know, the, what I was hearing was basically there's, um, there's a new um, tele, oh snap, telepals. Um, this just kind of like they call you up there. It's, it's volunteers. They call you up and they chit chat and all this kind of stuff. It yeah. has nothing to do with cognitive um, agility right, right, right. and the things that you're trying to accomplish, but it just, but people are really appreciating just even that telephone call. So yeah. I can imagine that a twofer where you're getting a brain stimulation as well as just the companionship on the, on the phone or on, you know, done virtually and stuff like that yeah. just got to be huge yeah no it, it definitely is and it's kind of like um it's kind of like with 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 you with pathfinders um you have to pivot and so we, we you know you have to pivot during covid but so many of the people in the communities too they're um the, the employees are frustrated too, right? So the beauty of this is you're not only getting uh, cognitive stimulation, but it would be like Janine, it's Janet. My dad has different coaches, but he, but he has like the same ones. Do you know what I mean? So he develops a rapport with them. Like one of them was yeah. in the Navy. So they talk about the Navy a little bit in the beginning, you know, just so that there's a rapport. So it's not, volunteers is lovely that people are doing that. Head, you know, absolutely, that's the headline, but it's nice though that the person actually knows you. And then also we are coaches because they're so nice and it's, it's just kind of amazing. I have amazing coaches. They uh, all have bachelor's degrees. Most have advanced degrees in education. I just had a wonderful PsyD candidate um, who, had, who I had to stop coaching just because she's getting her doctorate in psychology. But we have wonderful people that like to do this. That's like a calling for them. Mm -hmm. Zero turnover. I mean, I've never, I don't know that I've ever had an unhappy customer. I really don't. And I, know. I encourage people to really look at our website, um, fitminds.net. If you do the other one, you'll go to Canada. Um, okay. so fitminds.net, and you'll see all these testimonials and success stories um, or on our Facebook page because it's just so powerful. And I just think people still don't really know how good stimulation is. So tell me, back to the other question I had was, how do you know if you're a candidate? Oh, I'm sorry. I missed that one. Yes. No, 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 I got distracted okay. by barking dog. No, that's um, okay. So to me, if, as I'm aging, um, once I stop working, I will probably do cognitive stimulation. Uh, one, I love people. <laughs> Two, mm -hmm. I want to keep my brain sharp. And three, I don't think I would do, I know me. I like people so much. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't do an app. I just know me. I'm too social of an animal. So to me, independent living Absolutely should because again, we know our brain's gonna, you know, prune away what we're not connecting. Um, but certainly if they have any diagnosis of dementia, I mean, what we give to families is hope. I mean, when my, when my mom got the diagnosis, Louie Body, I literally started counting down the years that I would have left with her. I remember sobbing and thinking, I, and I talked to so many family members that are like, we just thought this was it. And then, you know, it, then they find out mom's capable, far more capable or dad of doing things than we ever imagined, or that they kind of came back and out and we can pull it out of them. Um, it's been fascinating. We have a very um, low functioning, but had been a very, very, uh, very prestigious person who I can't, you know, like, anyway, who's one of our clients. And he now uh, does it five days a week. He's very advanced, but he thinks he's going to work at his big law firm again. And he sits down and he's got his pad of paper next to him and the coach and, okay, what are we doing today? And it gives him a sense of purpose. It also benefits the caregiver because for an hour, he's focused and laughing, right? And she doesn't have to worry about him wandering because he's at home with her. You know, for that one hour, she just knows he's happy and it tires him out, but in a good way. 
like afterwards, he, he usually has to take a nap, but that's a good, like that's peaceful. That's a quality of life, right? Yes. I've been there just walking around and, and having that, that exercise is important. Just like when you wore out your toddlers so that they would take their nap in the afternoon. And that sounds terrible, but it's, it's like, it is exhausting. It's very challenging to be a caregiver and they need as much support and, and breaks as you can possibly build into it because especially at COVID. Oh, I can't even imagine it. I mean, you're on 24 seven and you're, you know, do you sleep at night? Not fully because you're, oh, nobody's, are they, are they, no, 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 I totally agree. Yeah. Caregivers are, I, I feel so sorry for caregivers. Uh, I really, I say, don't do this for you as much as for them. Seriously, as that person. Absolutely. Um, Cause my mom, I used to bring her here. She, I did I had young kids when mom got the disease. I brought her to live by me, but I put her in a wonderful senior community. I don't call them facilities senior living community. It was a community of people that were professionally skilled to take care of her and give her a good quality of life. And she was right. very happy there. So one, you got the burden on the caregiver that they think they're putting mom away. And we've got to stop that paradigm in our heads. You're not. You're giving her the place where she can thrive. Because at home, it's very hard to be that primary caretaker. I mean, yeah. I would bring her every Sunday. And it, it was that day was very stressful. Mom, what are you doing? Why are you in the pantry? Mom, Nobody stole your purse. No, no, it's right here. Or I, I would, you know, you do the therapeutic fibbing. No, no, I, I'm sorry, mom. I moved your purse. My fault. You know, she'd never get that at me, but it was hard. And then I would give her things to do for her dignity. Mom, will you fold the clothes for me? Oh, yes, Jenny, you always work so hard. So she'd fold them, not do a great job, to be honest. Ask about every three items. Whose is this? Whose is this? <laughs> but it's okay. Gave her a sense of purpose and dignity. And when she left, she did so I'll fold them again. Who cares? But you know what I'm saying? Like, it is hard to be, I could not imagine that seven days a week. And I, I was once a special ed teacher. I think I have a reasonable amount of patience and I don't think I could do it. So nobody should feel guilty, but so many of us do, that decide to move our parents into a community because they right. think we put them somewhere. You got to do it for yourself too. I mean, I would, as her disease progressed, I would leave my two teenagers home alone. Tell me that's not a recipe for disaster because mom was having a paranoid episode. This is, as her, this is her last six months of life. And uh, the community was so wonderful. Um, and uh, I would run there and go, mom, girls night, let's have, a, let's have a girl sleepover. Really? And her parent, you know, and she was fine. But I'm saying it's a hard to be a caregiver, very hard. So very do, it as hard. Much for, do it as much for the person as you do for the caregiver, especially during COVID. So, okay, so tell us again, real quick, just to kind of wrap up, tell us again, how do we get a hold of you? Because I know there are people out there in the midst of this COVID, in the midst of the stress of being caregivers, in the midst of, of just trying to get connection. Even if, you're, even if you're a senior and you're living at home and trying to be safe, gosh, I mean, you know, you might be completely cognitively on point, but geez, what, a, what an opportunity to challenge your mind and and stay fresh and, and create connections and stuff like that. Even if, even if you're just by yourself and you know, we're all stuck right now. So, you know, turn yeah. it into a positive. So how do we get yeah. a hold of you again? Uh, uh, fitminds.net, fitminds, one word, dot net, or you can call us 813-282-8282. Awesome. Well, thank you guys. Thank you so much, Janet. It, it is just, um, what a great, we've got so much in common, girl. Mm. I know we do. <laughs> so thank you. And thanks for everything that Pathfinders is doing to support people. I, I truly wish I'd known about you guys when we were moving mom down here. Um, well, we weren't here sister, yet. So we hadn't, yeah, my sister we hadn't invented did. ourselves yet. So it's okay. Oh, that's right. Yeah, exactly. Hey, uh, that's right. But I if there's anybody that does now. need some help with downsizing, and kind of moving mom and figuring out what to do with all the stuff so it doesn't end up in your garage, call me. <laughs> yes. No, I wish I, I wish I wish I'd known. Trust me. I wish I'd known. But I told you I might use you for my house because I'm selling my house now. So I might I might still find a way to use path timers. I'm not absolutely I'm not a hoarder, but you do accumulate a lot by having a family. Well, we do. And when, it's just when you're downsizing. Natural, it's a natural condition. Um so our number is 855-R-PATH. I'm going to make you spell it out, but actually I've got a cheat sheet. So it's 
7284. I've got a board. I can never remember that stupid number. Anyway, <laughs> but call <laughs> us. It's Pathfinders Downsizing Solutions. Thank you, Janet. With Thank Fit you. Minds. You guys all have a great day. We'll be in touch soon. Thanks. Okay. Bye, Janine. Great seeing you. Uh-huh.